few women who work in predominantly male dominant fields. So 10 TV's Corinna Nova is showing us why Congress has a long way to go when it comes to men and women representing us. Well, the numbers say it all. 106 women hold a seat in the United States Congress. They make up about 20% of the 535 members. Ohio Congresswoman Joyce Beatty is one of those women. And while in Columbus, she sat down with me to share her struggles, triumphs, and advice to young women. Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. It's not unusual for Ohio's 3rd District Congresswoman Joyce Beatty to receive a warm introduction. But at this event, she's celebrating someone else, a talented young woman named McKenna Hensley. We're giving a scholarship out right here in my district mm -hmm. to a young female, a STEM scholarship. The Congresswoman, who sits on the Financial Services Committee, is a proponent of young girls pursuing math, science, technology, and engineering. But she also urges women to run for office. We shouldn't right now in 2018 still only be at 20% of the female in Congress. We shouldn't be women making less on a dollar. Beatty remembers being the only woman among many men as county administrator. One of the corporate executives walked into the room and said, girly, I take my coffee black. Would you get me a cup of coffee? And, you know, in nanoseconds, I was thinking, what do I do? So I got him that cup of coffee and I said, here you are. But what was so amazing about the story, five minutes later, when I took my seat at the head of that table and said, gentlemen. She eventually took another big seat as the first female Democratic House leader for Ohio. I was told because I was female, because I was a female of color, it would never happen because it had never happened before. It required me to be really tough and it required me to work twice as hard because I knew I had to prove my Myself differently mm -hmm. simply because I was a female. And because she proved herself and got to Congress, her message to young girls is simple. We have now women at West Point. We have women now leading major countries. Mm -hmm. And so I tell them, be confident, work hard, and don't let anyone else make you doubt yourself. And once you get to the top, the Congresswoman says, don't forget, it doesn't stop there. No matter what you do as the first, as a female, it really doesn't matter unless there's a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth. The Congresswoman says while in Washington, she'll continue to address the social, economic, and political disparities that she says still exist for women.